Hey everybody, Linda, aka the Gamer Gal. We have with us Helen Rodriguez Florin. You might know her from Mortal Kombat. Today we're gonna glitch into this podcast because it's a glitchy game podcast. We only glitch in every so often. So let's start from the beginning. Okay. How did you hear about that? Uh, I actually trained at the same gym as these guys, uh, and they also worked there, and we were all martial artists from a very similar circle, it's a small world, yeah. you know, uh, and Danny came up to me and was like, hey, we need someone who can do X, Y, and Z, and I'm like, yeah, that's easy, you know? At the time, what was your martial arts back How many belts did you have? At that time, I had um, two or three. I think I had, I think I had two. Yeah. yeah, I had a karate and I had taekwondo. Okay. So for the styles, because you did three characters, yeah. how did you differentiate between the characters? Well, at the beginning when the characters were presented, it was kind of like Katana was like good and Melina was evil. Yeah. So you just draw upon things that characterize a lot of the styles that you know. So just because you do karate or you do kung fu, within those arts, there's like subsets. Um, you know, crane stuff, you know, cobra, tiger, right? So these are all these things that like draw you to martial arts to begin with when you're really young. And you learn all sorts of mini katas or ipan kumite katas, depending on what style you're in, what they call it, that have to do with that particular animal, which is very common in the martial arts. So I just kind of correlated what I thought would work for that character based on how Danny and uh, John Tobias at the time described what their personality was like. Did you help figure out what finishing moves were? Was it yeah. like they decided and then you just try to emulate? No, I mean there was like a very basic shot list. We need a high kick, a middle kick, a kick. We need a high short range, like a punch, a middle, a high. We need a we need a jump. We need a specialty. We need a this. And it was just very collaborative, very in the moment. Danny was a huge part of that kind of leadership in he had the experience of not only knowing John, working with John, having done several characters. So I probably was guided very efficiently because, you know, Danny had done it so many times. And John, of course, knew kind of what he wanted. When he saw it, he knew that's what he wanted. Was there any move that was like, oh, it's a little too difficult? Can I move it a little bit? So all the spin and jump kicks were hard because you had to do them slow. Because the technology at the time could not capture that many frames per second, exactly. Um, and that's where actually all of us having, well, most of us having a forms background in competition really came in handy because forms is a much more precise, slow execution of martial arts movements for demonstration that gets judged based on criteria, right? So you're throwing punches and kicks, not always slow, but relatively slow in comparison to how you would actually spar. So I think that and my dance and gymnastics background helped a lot with the control. But hard is relative to fun, right? Yeah. So it may have been challenging, but it was just fun. And when you're young, nothing's really bad. You know, Did you get any injuries from this? I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure I fell uh, a little clumsy a couple times, you know what I mean? Because you also did like the stunt balls and something. Oh, you did stunt balls? Yeah, we all did our own. Everything. Oh, you did everything. Did they have you sign a contract to make sure? <laughs> they did not. <laughs> so just up in the air, like we Yeah, there was not. There was not a lot of um, formal structure to how everyone was going to be treated or the liability. I mean, we were just having just. I think Danny for sure. We were all just having way too much fun to work. Did Katana start off with the weapon that they have in the game, or was it changed throughout the time? 
well, no, they had weapons that they, they wanted her to have a weapon. And I said, well, here are the weapons I, I, I like. And Fan, when he saw Fan, he was like, yeah, let's do that. And then, how did you choose for the other two? Well, the size are such a, kind of a daunting weapon. You know, they're kind of creepy, but they're, I mean, you're, you're stabbed, you know, they're, they've got kind of that knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was, that was my competition weapon of choice. So, when he saw my size, it just fit with kind of the, the energy or the character personality that I think was envisioned. So they yeah, exactly. And in the game, I mean, those are my size, my competition size. Yeah. When Jake? Jake was something that was created, I believe, in post for a third character kind of uh, secret character movie. Like reptile. Exactly like reptile. That is my understanding. There was the idea that there would be possibly the need for me to come in for additional, but I think, I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure timelines and low, I think they kept it as like a pretty sick period because she doesn't do that much in the right? She really gets developed more robustly later on in it as the game evolved and changed and they went on to do different things with the game. I mean, at the time, it was a very in the moment. There wasn't a lot of talk about how we would be involved in the future of the, of the franchise. And for that one, why did you pick that weapon? For, that weapon? for which one? For Jane. She has a. Well, so that was something they chose later. Yeah, so that was a later choice. The, the, the thing with the staff or like the primary characters, which were Katana and Lena, is the length, the distance, right? It really changes with the technology at that time. We were all aiming at like a microphone stick, right? So we all had to be aiming in the exact same place so that the moves would line up. The staff is such an extension. I mean, so now I think that was why it wasn't part of Katana and Melina, number one. Number two, even though I offered to be the staff, the fan was just cool. The, I mean, the, the, I mean, the staff's cool, but don't, I mean, don't get more cool, but fans and size were way more interesting, had way more character to them, were not really popular or seen, and it definitely made for a much more unique character personality, right? Yeah. I mean, sticks and staffs are like, not as, I mean, that's my opinion. I mean, that's what I'm assuming. But that was the reaction. Do you feel like they should add more of the older generation back into the mix and have like a multiverse? I know the, uh, the person the cast, who's all the other panels, have said, expressed, that they yeah. would love to come back. Would you love to come back if they offered it to you? I'm not really involved in like what the kind of the drama is with the franchise and the directors I know Ed is not a fan of us as the original characters. So I think it would be cool because the MK franchise is so successful because of the fan base and the um, loyalty and the legacy of it, right? So you've got generations of fans that are the children of the original fans, yeah. right? Who play the game. That's a really unique, you know, um, unique component for the success of the game. I'm trying to be like, I'm trying not to get myself in trouble. No, you're good. Okay. Uh, so, not really following like what's going on in the deep layers of all the, the whys. I I know that I've been told that there's probably very little chance that the original cast would ever be acknowledged or invited in any way. Not even like a 
I think they'll hire other people to do a version of the character, but I don't think there's any way it would be the original cast. So if they bring back the original look of the characters, it will not probably be. I mean, of course we would do. It. Of course I want it, would. it. I want it to be involved. It would be a blast. You know, we clearly, you know, didn't do the the game for well at the time. I mean, it would be fun. I know you all didn't get paid very well. We did not. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and we are such. You know, so many of us are still so tight and have such great relationships. I mean, it would just be like, you know, getting the band back together. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know if that's something that would ever be even considered. I'm sure people bring it up to Ed and, and, and that whole development crew on a regular basis, and I'm sure, I'm, I'm going to guess they're probably told not to mention it anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, we're closing up the interview. Yep. Would you like to go anywhere? I know you have a gym. I do. I own a gym in downtown Chicago for over 23 years. It's called Pow Gym Chicago. You guys can check it out. Um, obviously, I'm on Instagram. Where's it located? I'm in downtown. It's called the West Loop. West Loop? Yep, it's the neighborhood in Chicago that it is. Yeah. And what's your Instagram? Uh, so it's Catalan MK Original is the actual Instagram handle for all the fan stuff that uh, people that might love to see just more stuff about Mortal Kombat and the characters. I know she is on YouTube as well. I've seen a couple of her yeah. videos. Yes. So check out her YouTube channel. I will link it in the description. Yeah, that'd be cool. Definitely check it out. Thank you so much for being on the interview. You're very welcome. Have a great day, everybody. We're glitching out. Bye. She's here, she's playing games Linda the Gamer Gal